These chicks have a short life before the slaughterhouse, but farmer Bill Hoffman tries to make it a good life. That includes bales of hay to peck on, plenty of space, and even a radio. Hoffman's farm operates under the Certified Humane Program, a nonprofit run by a hardworking grandmother to improve the lives of farm animals. Whether their time is limited or not, they should go to their ends peacefully. And I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Right now, these chicks are one week old and weigh just a few ounces. In six more weeks, they'll weigh seven pounds, and that's when they become food. For these chickens, the label on the package will be Murray's, which supplies supermarkets along the East Coast. It costs more to raise chicken this way, but the company says customers are willing to pay. 70% of the consumers want to know where their foods come from. They're very concerned. Over 2,500 farms have signed on. Standards include adequate shelter, enough space to move around naturally, and gentle handling. Conditions that set them apart from many factory farms as seen in this undercover video. Hens stacked in dark, filthy warehouses, or broiler chickens fattened up so quickly their legs can't support their bodies. I thought somebody had to do something about it, and in a moment of insanity, I thought, why not me? Farmers raise 10 billion animals for food each year. So far, just 26 million are in the Certified Humane Program. A drop in the bucket, but one that's growing each year. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Turbotville, Pennsylvania.